Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, bivariate analysis. That is uh, what exactly it is and how to do, uh, you know, analysis for the two variables simultaneously. We will also see uh, what are the different types of bivariate analysis. Uh, okay. So by using bivariate analysis, uh, basically researchers or data scientists can introduce a wide variety of other variables as well as manipulate the association between those variables to understand the uh, connection between independent and dependent variables. So folks, this is Nitin who is on a mission to uh, democratize the artificial intelligence, big data, Hadoop, cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world. And with the same, I am uh, creating the associated content and publishing it on the periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these modern technologies. And you can uh, subscribe to my channel or press the bell icon to keep on getting the latest updates uh, regarding hottest technologies of 21st century. And you can also follow me on Twitter at the link given above. Just right there. Okay, and uh, I have also added subtitles in the languages like Hindi, English, and French for your convenience. So you can enable them as per your needs. You can see over there. So we can uh, we, we see that uh, uh, pri prefix by in bivariate uh, represents two, and uh, that's why we uh, do analysis of two variables, taking them simultaneously. So through this type of analysis, we try to find out, uh, number one, if there is any relation or association between two variables. And if association exists, then how strong that association is between the two. Okay. Also, we try to find out if uh, there is any difference between the two variables. Okay. So there are three types of bivariate analysis when we talk about uh, you know this specific type of analysis. Uh, number one is numeric numeric type of analysis wherein uh, the two uh, variables or the two uh, you know features are numerical in nature. Both of the uh, features are in numerical in nature. Number second is categorical categorical in which uh, the two variables or features or columns are categorical in nature and the third one is numeric categorical uh, analysis in which one of the variable or column of feature is numerical and another one is in categorical form okay so let me open this uh, uh, diagram real quick so you can get uh, idea of it so if you remember, I uh, showed uh, this particular diagram previously when I was uh, going through univariate analysis. So in, uh, similarly, in bivariate analysis, we have categorical, categorical, numerical, numerical, and categorical, numerical type of analysis. Okay. And when it comes to categorical, categorical, we have two types of analysis. One is chi-square test and uh, in fact, there are two ways, I would say. Uh, one is chi-square test, which is, which is a statistical technique to do. And if you want to use visualization technique, then either we can use 2y axis plot or bar chart. Similarly, in numerical numerical uh, type of analysis, which I'm going to cover in this video, we can either create scatter plot or uh, scatter matrix or correlation. Okay, so scatter plot, scatter matrix and correlation are all visualization techniques. Okay. Correlation, basically, uh, we can find out statistically. So there is a separate uh, method for that. Okay. And in case of categorical numerical test, we have statistical techniques like t-test, z-test, ANOVA, which is analysis of variance. And in, when it comes to visualization, we have 2y axis plot, bar chart, and line chart, which I'm going to cover very shortly in the upcoming videos. Okay. So let's uh, move on to the numerical numerical type of uh, analysis first so in the numerical numerical type of uh, bivariate analysis we either use correlation or a visualization technique like scatter plot as i told you earlier and we generally draw a scatter uh, plot before we try to establish a correlation between two variables to 
um, you know, in order to fit a regression line. So now let's say we have many numerical variables in a data set and we want to see the relationship of one variable uh, with another two at a time in one go. So uh, basically uh, kind of uh, you know trying to see the relationship between one variable with the another one uh, in one go for all the features or columns given in our data set. Then we can you know uh, use a Another technique called a scatter plot matrix. So, scatter plot matrix is nothing but plotting several scatter plots together, showing relationship with one another. Then, uh, in that case, we use this kind of plot. And I'm going to uh, show you uh, that as well. So, through a scatter plot, we try to find out if there is a linear relationship or non linear relationship between two variables. Okay. So let's begin with uh, plotting a scatter plot between uh, the sepal length and sepal width. So again, I'm going to use this iris data set for our analysis purpose. And uh, once again, this is numerical numerical type of uh, bivariate analysis, wherein both the features or the columns are numerical in nature. So if uh, when, when talking about these features, uh, I'm picking up sepal length and sepal width, which are numerical in nature. Both of them are numerical in nature. So here I'm using a parameter. Uh, so let me uh, do one thing. Let me uh, real quick open my uh, uh, Jupyter notebook, okay? And then I will show you. So here is my Jupyter notebook. Okay, bivariate analysis. So if we see this scatter plot, as I told you earlier, I'm creating a scatter plot wherein on x axis I'm taking sepal length and on the y axis I'm taking sepal width. So you can see here the x axis has sepal length and y axis has sepal width. And the U, U here uh, is used, this particular parameter argument is used to set the color of each category of a species so you can see that there are three colors blue orange and green so this particular uh, parameter argument is used to uh, set the color of the category so where we have three categories one is versicolor uh, virginica and setosa and based on that it is setting up the color uh, fit regression uh, equals to false, so we don't want to fit a regression line. That's why I have kept it as false. Otherwise, if you keep it true, then you will see a fitted line here. Okay. And uh, data, uh, uh, th this argument data is nothing but the data frame uh, which will contain all these values, these column values. Okay. So here uh, we, we created this data frame uh, in the previous video, so I'm utilizing the same. DF, which is stores the iris data set. Okay, so you can see the scatter plot matrix and the, uh, so uh, we can conclude one thing here by uh, looking at the graph that sepal width for setosa. Okay, uh, sepal width for setosa for uh, you know for majority of observation is beyond 3.5 right you can see here right so it's beyond 3.5 centimeter but sepal length is sim uh, less than 5.5 right sepal length is less than 5.5 correct so you can see here okay so so this is the one observation so similarly you can uh, you know establish various uh, relationship between these two parameters or these two features or columns like sepal width and sepal length similarly you can do it for other uh, features or columns as well right now if you want to visualize the relationship or distribution of all the variables with one another one and the another then you can create a scatter plot matrix and the way we create the scatter plot matrix is like this one so here i'm using the seaborn library uh, to create a pair plot which is a scatter plot matrix right again i'm using this argument u for creating the colors for different categories or species okay data is again df uh, which stores the iris data set okay 
So this is the way we uh, create the scatter plot matrix. So here you could see that there is a linear relationship between uh, if I pick petal uh, length and petal width. So this is petal width and petal length. Okay, so petal length and petal width. You can see that there is a linear relationship between these two para, uh, features or column. So this particular matrix contains all of the columns on x-axis as well as on y-axis. So in in one go or at one glance, you can see the relationship between or the correlation between these uh, variables or among these variables. Okay, so as I told you earlier, there is a relation linear relationship between petal length and petal width, right? So moving on, on the next method, uh, which is a statistical method of numerical numerical bivariate analysis is correlation. Okay, and correlation is usually defined as a measure of the linear relationship between two quantitative variables. That is, uh, that is, let me open this. So, okay. So you can see that it's a linear relationship between two quantitative variables. So whether it is sepal length, uh, sepal width, sepal length, petal length, sepal length, petal width, etc. Okay. So you can, so it, it's like a scatter plot matrix only, but in terms of a statistical table. Okay. You can see, and um, you can basically, that's a visualization technique, but here you can see the uh, statistical values basically. So this is kind of a more, uh, uh, you know, in terms of numbers, so you can see this uh, or use this correlation. So I have just, what I have done here is I have used this core or correlation method uh, on data frame, iris data frame. Okay, so it generated this particular uh, table or kind of a matrix wherein we, we can see the linear relationship between uh, one variable with the another one, right? So uh, uh, if I, uh, you know, explain uh, in more detail, correlation simply means that there is some type of relationship between two variables and this correlation can be positive or negative, okay? And when the value of one variable increases, as the value of other increases, this is known as positive correlation, okay? Uh, and uh, when the value of one variable decreases, as the value of another increases to form an inverse relationship, this is known as negative correlation, okay? The value of correlation ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. So you here you can see that there are certain values in minus, certain values are in plus, right? So the value ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. If the value is plus 1, then it means that it's a perfect positive correlation. And if it is minus 1, then it means that perfect negative linear correlation. Zero means that there is no relationship or correlation between two variables okay uh, so as i mentioned earlier this is the code to find out this correlation between or among the variables okay so we can see here that there is a strong positive correlation between petal length and petal width so you can see that if you pick this petal length and petal width right you can see that it's 0.96 which is close to 1 so it's a strong linear correlation so we can say by looking at these values we can say that there is a linear strong linear correlation between petal width and petal length okay which we already saw uh, in the uh, image also here so you can see that the, it is a strong positive correlation because with the increase in the value of x, the value of y is also increasing. Okay, so it's a positive correlation. All right, so so yeah, guys, uh, this is it for uh, this video. And to conclude, I gave an in, uh, introduction of bivariate analysis 
also discussed about three types of bivariate analysis and then discussed in detail about um, numerical numerical bivariate analysis. So here is today's question. Which one of the methods discussed in the numerical numerical type of bivariate analysis appeal to you most? Please share your comments in the comment section given below. And if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then uh, click on bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with us guys. I will be covering next topics in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.